Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can generate your very own iOS application for your WPLMS site and host it on the Apple App Store. So first up, you need to have a active WPLMS site. And if you have watched our earlier tutorials, you can simply go to YBP settings, enable the service worker, and in the service worker, you can configure these settings. So make sure you have the latest YPP plugin and you have configured the app icon, the default image, the app splash screen, and we have given the recommended sizes, which you should follow so that the app icons are generated correctly. And we do recommend using the enable cache for strategy along with the Firebase configuration because it really makes your app load faster and and load real-time updates without relying on the background sync property which is not consistent on all the browsers especially the native ios browser so the apple login is required if you are using any of the social logins you have to enable the use brand icon settings if you are using the social login right so once you have configured the service worker and you have configured the app page if you directly open the app page it should appear something like this so this is the app page which is uh, which we have used to create the ios app and you can find the ios app on the apple app store so here you'll see that we have the ionic version of the app as well Now this app is available for both student and instructor as well as iPad and iPhone and we are also in process of submitting the Mac OS app and the tvOS app which we'll cover later in our tutorials. So once you've configured the app page so for this particular demo we are using the live version we go to the pwabuilder.com and here you can enter your app page and start the start the pwa to app conversion process many times the pwa builder is not able to recognize something it's perfectly fine you just have to go back and retry the Retry the URL. Right, so when I test it again, now it is able to recognize the service worker and the works offline as well, along with the manifest and all the properties and with the security. So let, let's move on to the next step, which is the, and here you can see we get the app packages for Windows, Android and iOS. And we can simply click and download the app package so here you can type in the name of your app and this is the starting url which is very important so this should match the url of your of your app page so in in this for this particular site we are using this app.wplans.io and this is the image url and generate the So here the package is ready and we can download it and you can download it download this package so once the package is downloaded so here we downloaded the lms.zip and when we unzip it 
you can see that we have this package and there's this net next steps so it is telling that we have to first build our project in xcode test the app submit the app on app store and uh, we need a double apple developer account a mac and we have to run this pod install and if the pod is not uh, available if you're getting error you have to first run sudo gem install cocoa pods and then we do the pod install this is something which we did in ionic as well so all the hybrid apps uh, or the apps with the web view almost require this and then we can open the XP xc workspace and see how this works so now let's do that so here you can see we have our app icons now you can change the icon here as well or you can also change the icons in the asset base and the launch icon so these are all the icons which are required by the app so let's install the cocoa pods first so for that we go to the folder in the src so i open my terminal and here i'll do pod install so because i have the cocoa pods already installed it is not going to show me the error and here it has installed the pods next we can simply open it open the lms.xc workspace right so this is our app and here we'll we are first will first publish for the iphone and the ipad so this is what the tutorial covers and then we go to the sign in and capabilities we first disable the automatic sign in then we again enable it because only then the xcode recognizes and then we select a team so for the team you need to have an active apple developer account which costs 99 dollars a year and once you select the team you can write in the bundle identifier so the identifier has automatically picked up from the from the settings that i configured if you see the associated domains so this is a very important here it is recognizing the in the pwa builder now a very important file is located which is called info.plist and here it shows that we have the wk app bound domains and here only one domain is entered which is app.wplms.io which means only the files which are which are uh, related to this particular domains will be loaded so for this particular app we are using the apple trusted domains feature so if we have more domains then you can simply go ahead and add the domains this is exactly what we do when we have the social logins so I'll just show my current active uh, site. So this is the site which is already, this is the app which is already published. So in the info.plist, so I had to add the camera usage description. So why uh, the app needs to use the camera and the photo library description all these things they uh, these two things have to be manually added webview.swift and there's this uh, settings.swift so here you can see that the root url is mentioned as the pwa page allowed origin all the requests must be from this and here is the auth origins so if you are loading any video in your app from youtube you must enter the youtube.com in in here otherwise this won't uh, work so if you compare with what we have in the settings.swift so here you'll see that the auth origins is blank whereas in the app which is live on app store i have added this uh, youtube.com vimeo.com firebase app.com because initially we attempted the uh, social logins then we had to disable because 
the apple has very specific requirements for the button so that we'll be covering uh, later on in our tutorial and then uh, for google account authentication you have to enter account.google.com for facebook authentication you have to enter facebook.com for microsoft you have to enter live.com so live.com is also required if you are uh, the embedder for the uh, powerpoint and the microsoft word and xls so th that is again required then we have the google apis.com which is required because firebase is in inherently using the google project and then the apple.com for the apple login so this is the minimum list which uh, you'll need to use and at the maximum in the auth origins you can use the number of domains that you can use is 10 so be very specific whether you want to use the social logins or not because social logins mostly cover up a lot of domains here so once you've configured all this then what you have to do is go to developer.app app store connect dot apple.com you have to log in there and you have to create uh, your account and then you have to create a new app and you have to select the platform for which the app is will be active so once the once you have selected this you have to add in all the details all the images and add all the details with nice uh, screenshots some proper description and sample login details which is required so all these things you need to fill in all the details for the app information pricing in app purchases this will be uh, adding later on in our app updates and we'll be releasing a separate tutorial for that so once you have configured all these settings so here you can select the installation make sure make sure you have the latest test x code so this is the complete app wherein the users can create their profiles they can create uh, groups they can create courses so currently it is displaying the top side nav bar because we forgot to set this app as full full screen app so so hey if you can test the app and now just notice that since this is cache first the loading speed is pretty fast so once your app is ready on the app store connect and on the on the x code you can archive the app and make sure it has the same bundle identifier and once the archiving is complete you will be able to upload and distribute it on the apple app store so here you will get the apple so here you will get the app and you can click on distribute app and in the next step it will ask you to upload the app it will generate a few certificates which you can download and you can simply go ahead automatically manage signing and now it's going to create assets and then you can simply click on upload and when you click on upload it is going to upload the app on your on your app store and here we recommend using the test flight first so you'll get the test flight and you'll need to add internal testing external testing testers you'll need to add and then you can uh, select the builds which will be available for the testers then install the test flight in your ios device and test the test the app that you have make sure you test it thoroughly and then you can submit the app for approval on the app store so that's it from WPLMS Tutorials. Thanks for watching.